Today we'll be looking at the new B660 model. This is the new AES Rock B660M Pro RS, designed for the new Intel 12 generation CPUs. Good morning and welcome to Tech Interceptor. First of all, remember to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to stay up to date on upcoming video and if you want to take a look at our Twitter and Instagram profiles. As anticipated at the beginning in this new episode of First Contact, we are going to discover the AES Rock B660M Pro RS. This motherboard is just one of the many B660 boards available on the market, of which you can find a complete roundup list in the description. Starting from the box, we find, of course, the motherboard, a quick installation guide, a support CD, two SATA cable, three screw for M2 socket, one standoff for M2 socket, and one IO panel shield. The B660 board in question has a micro ATX form factor and a measure 24.4 cm for 24.4 cm. It has a black PCB with a grey accent that is covered by two black metal brushed heatsink with thermal pad at the upside and at the near of the IO back panel. This has printing on the Pro RS series logo. Also, the chipset has a square black brushed heatsink with AS Rock logo on it. There is an hour that cover one M2 sock. The board presented a VRM layout feature 8 power faces that guarantee the maximum power and efficiency. As all new B660 boards, it features Intel 1700 socket that support the 12th generation Intel Core i9, i7, i5, i3, Intel Pentium Gold and Intel Celeron CPUs. The motherboard is equipped with 4 DDR4 DIMM socket, dual channel memory architecture that support 32GB single DIMM capacity, up to a maximum of 128GB for all 4 DIMM, operating at 3200MHz of frequency natively to over 5333MHz in overclocking. Regarding the motherboard layout, starting from the left, in upside, the internal connector, including an 8-pin ATX 12V power connector for the CPU, one CPU fan connector, and a CPU fan or water pump fan connector. After going down on the right side, there are two addressable LED adder, a 24-pin ATX main power socket connector, an USB 3.2 Gen 1 header, a front panel Type-C USB 3.2 Gen 1 header, and a 2 SATA freight connector. In the bottom of mobile there are a system panel header, an hour 2 SATA free connector, SPI TPM header, a post status checker, 2 USB 2.0 header, a chassis intrusion and speaker header, two chassis or water pump fan connector, a Thunderbolt AIC connector, a clear CMOS jumper, an addressable LED header, a RGB header, and a front panel audio header. Finally, in the middle, there is one chassis or water pump fan connector. The storage option include 4 SATA free 6GB to second ports and 2 M2 slot. The first is an Hyper M2 socket that support type 2242, 2260 and 2280 PCI Express Gen 4 for 4 mode. The second is an Ultra M2 socket that support type 2280 storage devices SATA free 6.0 GB to second and the PCI Express Gen 3 for 4 mode. As expansion slot, the motherboard feature three PCI Express, more precisely one PCI Express 4.0 for 16 slot, one PCI Express 3.0 for 16 slots, and one PCI Express 3.0 for one slot. On back, in the IO panel, we find firstly two USB 2.0 ports, a PS2 mouse keyboard port, a HDMI port, a display port two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, a LAN Ethernet port, and our two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, and audio jacks including Lightning, front speaker, 
and the microphone port. And now we talk about off prices. The motherboard is available on retail at a price of about 130 US dollar or 150 euros at the time of making this video. As always, let me know what you think in the comments below and if you find this video helpful, leave a like, share it with your friend and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you again next time.